And so, with every single release of open source materials and tools, the animation industry and community has moved one step closer to making amazing looking images. This has happened over and over, with some of the recent open source tools paving the way for interesting visuals to be made. And this includes the Open Subdiv, Open Image Denoiser, Open PBR, Open EXR, the Open VDB, Alembic, GLTF, Material X, Open Shader Language from Sony, Autodesk and Amazon set of open source tools, Moonray from DreamWorks, and most recently, Open USD from Disney and Pixar. With all this pushing the industry and the community forward in terms of technological advancement and accessibility and Adobe is weighing in on this. So, a few months back, we shared some interesting updates about the Alliance of OpenUSD, which is an open, non-profit organization dedicated to fostering the standardization, development, evolution, and growth of open source USD to promote interoperability of 3D content across different DCC apps. We found the members including Pixar, Adobe, Apple, Autodesk, and ultimately NVIDIA, which has championed the unification and collaboration of artists through NVIDIA or Miniverse. And today, we have some interesting news from the folks at Adobe, as they're moving forward with a proposition of an open source set of tools that they mentioned sometime last year by open sourcing their USD file format plugins for exchanging data between Pixar's universal scene description and common 3D file formats. And the idea is simple make it possible to convert 3D models, materials, and animation between USD, FBX, GLTF, OBJ, PLY, and STL file format. And this simply makes the idea of using pre-existing file formats still relevant while integrating the USD source right into it. And this would definitely help creators and not break the existing workflows across different apps that have pre-existed and apps that will be existing in the future, as most tools still rely on FBX, STL, OBJ, PLY, GLTF to still function, it only makes a lot of sense to have an accessible plugin that would bake USD right into this format so you will be able to open them in other USD tools. And Adobe is open sourcing these plugins, and these plugins include the USD FBX, USD GLTF, USD OBJ, USD PLY, and USD STL. This technology, which has since been reportedly used by Adobe, is now publicly available to other developers to integrate into their own applications, thereby bringing a more interesting and flexible means of data interchange. And with this open source file format being available, file formats can be saved and exported as they will normally be done. Say so for example, OBJ or FBX and so on can be saved or exported, but internally the USD representation will be made and the plugin does the rest of the work. If you do save your file as an FBX or an OBJ file, instead of converting these files to USD and open them up internally, there is a USD representation which would allow these files to be opened up on any USD tool. And Adobe has also mentioned that they've already started using this interoperability strategy for transferring data between Substance 3D tools to other DCC tools, and as members of the alliance of OpenUSD, companies like Cesium, Maxon, Meta, Trimble, SideFX Houdini, Otoy, Foundry, Epic Games, and so on, might probably start integrating these interchange database tools within their own file formats for files to be read on other USD tools as a common file format. And now sourcing these plugins will initiate conversations about the best way of handling these interchange processes, which obviously would have to deal with a huge set of tasks that includes the handling, the rendering, transferring of data, materials, animation, camera, you know, things like texturing, skeletal animation data, and so on between USD files and different 3D file formats, which in this case is in direct relation to the file formats that are being supported with this plugin. And with these plugins, importing and exporting of file data from one DCC app to other DCC apps that simply supports the USD descriptions will definitely make transferring of files super easy. Something else that the folks at Adobe are currently considering how they can actually implement and look for ways forward is materials. So materials have been part of the conversation for some time and there are various options that are currently on the table in relation to USD and Adobe and they've taken a couple of steps and there is a set of material strategy that they are looking at and this includes open PBR, Material X, SBSR for Substance, and USD. And the whole idea is to cater to the material branch for content creation. And with this, the journey of USD-based future is looking amazing. I do like the approach behind this, so just in case artists do not want to simply use USD formats, they can use other file formats that do have USD baked into them, which can also be opened on various files as well. 
And for those who like to take a look at this, or probably you like to know more about USD, then the Nvidia GTC Open USD Day is coming. And alongside this, we might be announcing a challenge or a giveaway sometime in the coming days. So for those who like to keep an eye for this and probably win some stuff, then you might want to subscribe to the channel and keep your eyes peeled as a video will be dropping pretty soon. So this is it. For those who like to take a look at all of this, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And of course, tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.